Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. As you saw in the introduction, we'll be comparing three of the most used lookup functions in Excel. And we'll look at the advantages and disadvantages of each of them. We have three worksheets, VLOOKUP, INDEX MATCH AND MATCH, and INDIRECT. You'll find the INDEX MATCH MATCH uh, formula quite interesting. It's advanced but is very very powerful. First of all let's look at VLOOKUP. The disadvantages of VLOOKUP, well, there's a couple, VLOOKUP only searches from left to right. It cannot search in the opposite direction. It's also very slow with large files. And incidentally, it only searches left to right on the data in the first column. In this case, it will be the names. It's slow with large files, as I mentioned. And the insertion of rows and columns requires adjustment of formulas when columns are row or rows are added or deleted. So let's see how it works. First of all, I want to search for Dave's sales for April. In other words, I want to finish up with the result of 53. So I choose the name first of all, and you'll notice here that I've created a list for ease of entering a name, Dave, and also then of course in the formula, I need to tell Excel in VLOOKUP which column has the information that I'm looking for. So that uh, VLOOKUP can find the intersection of Dave and column 5. In this case, April. So look at the formula up here. It was VLOOKUP. Look up what's in D19, which is Dave. Look in the matrix B9 down to I15. Look at the column number in column 5. Again, I have a list. I could look in other columns if I wished for the result from other months and then when I press enter show me the result which is 53. In other words Dave in column 5 shows 53. So that's the standard VLOOKUP function. Now let's look at index match match. This is a little more uh, advanced as I mentioned in setting up the formula as we'll see but the advantages are that index and match allows Excel to search in both directions, left to right, right to left, and also up, uh, down, and up. It's also much faster than VLOOKUP in large files. So it's very, very popular with corporations who have uh, uh, large uh, uh, spreadsheets with lots of data. I can also insert rows and columns without affecting the result. So again I have a drop down list for the name. I can search for any name because as we'll see the contents of D16 are referred to in the formula and I can also uh, look for various months as I need to. In this case, I want to look for Dave and find the intersection for April, which is 53. Let's look at the formula and see how it works. Equals index and look in the matrix B16 down to J13. In other words, look at all of the data. And then match what is in D16, Dave, in the group B6 to B13 and then match that with what's in D17 April in the uh, row B6 to J6 and when I press the enter key I find that the result is 53. Let's just check uh, Anna. 
so we'll say Anna and I want to see Anna's sales results we'll say for May and the answer is 43 because index match indexed those names again it in, it matched across the uh, months themselves and it found the intersection so we'll go back to Dave for April and there we are 53 so very very fast I put a note here notice how this gives the same result as in the next worksheet using indirect rows and columns can be added as I mentioned elsewhere without affecting the result let's look at indirect a function which is not used nearly as often as index and match but by golly I find it much easier to set up and again all I've done is use <coughs> a name from a from a list uh, also a month from a list and the formula works like this equals indirect look in D17 what's the name Dave because what indirect does it it says uh, show me uh, the the value which is uh, brought in from the cell reference that I use in the formula in other words it looks in D17 so it's really saying indirect Dave there then I follow that with a space most important and then I say indirect again look in E17 which is April in E17 and press enter and I see the result 53 so the advantage, the advantages of indirect are that it quickly finds the intersection of data and uh, I really believe that the formula is easier to construct than index match or index match match. Again, I can allow the insertion of rows and columns. The results will remain the same. But if I insert a column through any of the cells which show the uh, data here, then the results will be repositioned so that's just something to be uh, to be aware of so that is comparing the three most popular lookup functions in excel personally as i mentioned before i like indirect i find it very easy to set up and one thing that i do need to do uh, before i set up the uh, data itself i need to uh, set up the data uh, in you by using the name procedure if you're not quite certain I'll put a link in the video in the description below which will show you how to create uh, a named indirect set of data thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so and uh, if you would like feel free to issue a like or a comment again thank you so much for watching and bye for now